Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Of course, here in Connecticut, we had upwards of 5 to 9 inches of rain Sunday into Monday. Uh, at our official climate reporting stations for the Hartford area is measured at Bradley Airport and Bridgeport. You can see the numbers here, just over 6 inches for Hartford, over 3 inches for Bridgeport so far for the month of July. Uh, pretty incredible surpluses and will likely add to these totals later, the, later this week with uh, another round of rain that could be heavy, renewing potentially that, that potential again for uh, more flooding. In the meantime, we're getting a break. Early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning clear and dry. Temperatures up compared to this time last night, low and mid 70s inland, upper 70s near 80 right now, still for communities along the, uh, the 95 corridor. So well, today we also were able to enjoy a bit of a break in the humidity. Dew point values came down a bit as some drier air moved in. As the wind becomes more southerly, those dew point values climb again back to tropical oppressive levels Thursday, Friday, and they'll be around as well for the upcoming week. And so currently from our capital city, great visibility, 75 in Hartford. Uh, from New Haven, overlooking the green in the Elm City, right at the 80 degree mark, the warm spot in the state. And from New London, currently 76 degrees with a light west wind at six miles an hour. So not much happening here across southern New England uh, for the time being. But we do have with high pressure to our south, clockwise flow around that high as it moves farther offshore. That's going to help to, again, bring in some of that muggier air. Also, a bit warmer air tomorrow compared to what we experienced today. Also tracking a slow moving cold front moving through the eastern Great Lakes. Not much happening in advance of that right now, but as it gets closer tomorrow, uh, we'll see a chance for maybe a couple of isolated showers. A better chance for some isolated storms will come by Thursday afternoon. So overnight tonight, uh, mid and upper 60s for many communities. Pick out where you live, the town closest to you under a clear sky. We could see perhaps a little patchy fog develop in a few locations. Otherwise, tomorrow starts off dry and bright. You can see through the course of the afternoon, some scattered clouds, maybe a brief shower, but a situation where many communities do remain dry. Temps tomorrow a little bit hotter than today, 90 or better across inland Connecticut, upper 80s, touching 90 for communities along the 95 quarters. If you have plans to head to area beaches on your hump day, the weather certainly cooperates. Remember that sunscreen. For Thursday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. You can see a better chance for some isolated thunderstorms during the afternoon. Could be strong uh, with some gusty wind and as well some heavy rain. But we've got additional rain again on tap for Friday. Rain could be heavy at times, some embedded thunderstorms, and we've been outlining this for you already. We've got our early warning alert for Friday. You see the American model, the GFS, and the European. The European a little bit more robust here with those yellows, oranges, and reds popping up, but generally thinking right now, uh, one to two inches of rain is what we're going for, perhaps some locally higher amounts on Friday. So not to the magnitude of what we experienced Sunday into Monday, but enough that given the saturated ground that the quickly renew the concern for additional flooding. So again, this is for Friday as we close out the week. Uh, again, it's going to feel very tropical as well in nature. That instability, the air just loaded with moisture will lead to those, those downpours that could become numerous. Then for Saturday, some isolated spotty showers, thunderstorms possible with enough sun. We can get close to the 90 degree mark. Sunday looks more unsettled, at least as of now, compared to Saturday. Uh, scattered showers and storms. Monday, we could squeak out a dry day. Another chance for some isolated storms by Tuesday of next week. Overnight lows will be in the 70s, so the air conditioning is certainly a necessity. And for shoreline highs, right on through this upcoming weekend, high temperatures in the mid-80s.